Well, it's been no secret that Kentucky has seen a boom in sports betting since its launch in September. But this weekend may prove to be the most lucrative of them all for venues following the big game that just wrapped up in Vegas. WHAS 11 night teams Connor Steffen and photojournalist Aspen Hester are checking in on how businesses are faring as thousands of Kentuckians hope to score big on wagers during the Super Bowl. Over at downtown Derby City Gaming's first turn bar, the sports betting kiosk stayed full for hours as one after another hopefuls made their bets on the big game. Kansas City because of their defense. As Christian McCaffrey plays for San Francisco, so I'm kind of rooting for him and, and, and his success with that. But, uh, but Kansas City, I, I, I like them as well. You know, this is going to be interesting because we've not ever had sports betting for Super Bowl. You can add it to the growing list of firsts Kentucky's betting venue saw this last year when lawmakers finally passed a law legalizing sports betting in the Commonwealth. Long overdue. Long, long overdue. We, we, let, we, we let cars drive over the bridge right here into Indiana. Um, it's, it's been long overdue. And now Kentuckians join an estimated 26% of adults in betting on the Super Bowl. The American Gaming Association expects a record 67.8 million Americans will put money on the game. That's up 35% from last year. The association also says betters plan to wager an estimated $23.1 billion, up from $16 billion in 2023. The Derby City Gaming and Hotel venue off Poplar Level Road is hoping to capitalize off that this weekend. Um, we have tons of things lined up with the game. It's a huge TV to watch it, but we'll also have representatives from Patron. And we'll have some swag. Um, have some of the best chicken wings, we can argue. Sports kiosks at the ready, bolstering thousands of potential Super Bowl bets. You know, I think the whole weekend will be kind of a new baseline for us to understand what sports betting and Super Bowl means here for this property. In Louisville, Connor Steffen, the WHAS 1119 on your side.